Hi, in this video I'll show you how to save an Excel file as a web page. Now why would you want to save it as a web page? Well maybe you want to send off a file and you don't want people to edit that file. So you can send it as a web page. You can put it up on some kind of uh, network drive that people can access and they can just view it but not be able to do any modification. Or you maybe want to send it as a single file uh, for the same purpose. You don't want anybody to modify. You can just you just want them to view it. So saving as an HTML page may be helpful here in this case. So there's two ways to do it. And the first way I'm going to show is save it as a single page. Now when you save it as a single HTML file or single web page file, it will save it as with a document extension .mhtm or maybe mht. And let me show you how that's done. In this case, I've got an Excel file, a workbook, and I've got two sheets in it. The first sheet has a table, and the second sheet just has an image. And what I can do now, I'm going to go back into sheet one, is I can go to File, and then go to Save As. And here's the file that I have. I saved it as an uh, Excel file. This is an Excel 2010 file. And what I want, need to do, I want to save as a different type. So I'm going to go under here and click Single web File Web Page. So once I click on that, uh, I can give it a different name. Let me just go ahead and call this something else. Uh, I'll call this uh, example one. Right? You don't need. You can save it as the same uh, file name. All it's going to do is change the extension type instead of being a .xlsx file or .xlsm file, depending on how you save the original file. It will now be a .mhtm file. Let me go ahead and click save and it's going to give you a warning message uh, if, you're, if there's any kind of formatting that's not compatible with a single file page it's not going to save it uh, or it's not going to preserve those uh, features so I'll go ahead and just click yes here and this this part says that um, in if you wanted to automatically republish the boy page basically if you saved it and then you went back into the original file format the .xls file format and made some changes uh, will that incorporate any of the changes into the web page version. I'm going to go ahead and not, and not do that. I'm just going to disable that and click OK. And now you can see that it looks like nothing has changed, but this has actually ch changed it here. And if I go into the file manager, let me go ahead and go into file manager. So here we are in Windows file manager. You can see that my original file has the xlsx file. That's the original file. And then my saved file, which I saved it as a single web page, it has the .mht file name document extension and you can see here the type it's also telling you it's an mhtml document so it's one file so if I open up this file let me go ahead and right click and open it up with a browser so I'm going to right click open up I'm going to open up in Internet Explorer usually these file types that are created in uh, Excel where you're saving it as a web page they're probably optimized more for Microsoft products so I usually use the Internet Explorer since it's a Microsoft product so I'm going to click on that and now we see it's opened up Internet Explorer you so we have this error message here saying basically it's uh, it could be an ActiveX uh, or script and so I'm going to just click this to close that and we can see here it has opened it up as a web page and it also has sheet one and sheet two and sheet two has the image here and that is available for you to see. So really here that the primary benefit for this particular web page file is something where you can actually just send it because you're sending one file and that's the uh, .mht file. Uh, or the MIME HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and that's available there. So let me go through the second example of how to save it as a web page. So I'm back in my uh, original uh, Excel file, the one with the extension XLSX, and what I can do here is I can go to File and Save As, but there is actually a keyboard shortcut for Save As too. So let me go ahead and show you the example there. And that's basically pressing the F12 key. So now the Save As window is up, and I have the option to save it as a web page. So I'm, when I clicked on here, I was clicked instead of the single file web page, I click single page here. So when I clicked on that, and you notice now that it has put an HTM file extension here. So if I click Save, it will give the same warning message, and I'll go ahead and just ignore this one. Click Yes and then it will ask for the auto republish. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click OK for that to disable it. And you'll notice now that it's saved it as an HTM file. But Excel still shows it in the Excel type of view. I'm going to go ahead and just close this. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into the file manager and we'll take a look at see what it looks like. 
So here we are in the Windows Explorer, the, the file manager, and what we see here now is when we saved it as a web page, it's actually saved it as a web page here. It's also saved it in other things in a folder such as pictures. So if I click double click on this, you'll notice that there are a couple things that is also saved. These are the pictures that were part of, or the objects or pictures that were part of that file. So I believe this was probably that image on sheet two or either one of these were. Let me go ahead and go under a thumbnail view. Let me go ahead and maybe medium icons will show. And you can see here that it has actually saved a couple of things. Uh, this, these are the pictures, and some, some of these are some of the other attributes that will help render that HTML file. So if I go back one, one level, let me go ahead and go back one level, and we try to open up this in a web browser, let me go ahead and right click and go to open with a, the web browser, Internet Explorer. That will come up, and we can see that we have our image here. And if I go to Sheet 2, let me go ahead and just ignore this error message here. And we have our Sheet 2 with our image there. Uh, excuse me. This was a. This is actually a table, so it's rendered it as an HTML table. So one of the nice things, I guess, about uh, creating it as a web page here is if you want to look into the code, if you're really interested in looking into the HTML code, let me go ahead and close this. If you're if you're interested in looking into the HTML code and maybe pulling some stuff out of it after you've done a lot of work in Excel file, you may want to go ahead and do that. Let me right click and go under open with notepad and you'll notice that now it has shown you the HTML code that's all behind that. If I if you look through here, if you're interested in looking at you want to be you want something a little bit more detailed to see how this works, you can do that. But generally, uh, most people probably would not look into the HTML uh, tags or, or code for that. Let me go ahead and close that. But that's the second way of creating a web page. And if you do uh, intend to create it as a web page, and maybe you wanted to make some changes to some of the images, uh, if you put this onto a, a file. Uh, out on a network somewhere and you didn't want to go ahead and save the whole thing again you just want to change an image maybe one of the one of the pros I guess with this is you can create a new image give it the same image name and just copy it onto uh, that that particular folder and it'll overwrite it and you'll still see the, that image um, but there's not really a lot of advantages in a way I guess to to saving it as an HTML file nowadays because uh, a lot of things are a little bit more optimized for the web however saving it as a single page HTML file may have a benefit where you know if you wanted to email somebody uh, a, a mock-up of your Excel and without them modifying it that might be a pro or advantage of doing that so here are the two examples of how you can save uh, an Excel file as a web page so I hope that helps thanks for watching